What's up guys? Today we gonna design a full website in both light and dark mode in Adobe XD and it will be awesome. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. So anytime I drop a new video, you gonna be the first to get it. Now let us proceed. We gonna design for desktops so choose web, which size is 1920 by 1080. Though, you can customize the size, but I preferred the preset. The first thing to do is always name and save the file and also rename the canvas as well. Secondly, we need accuracy for perfect positioning. Move the mouse to the left end which is the x-axis of the canvas and drag the ruler up to 60 pixels and do the same for the y-axis, but this one the space is different from the other. These help to create perfect padding for both axes. Let's proceed with creating a simple logo for the website, cause most websites have logos. Choose the text tool and create a text. Change the font family and the font size. Click on the 3D transforms or Ctrl plus T and change the dimension to minus 45 degrees. Make sure you click on it again to deactivate other words it can have an effect on other text. I have downloaded these 3D characters from icon8.com and I will leave the link in the video description for you if you want to use the same characters. Drag and drop the character on the canvas, resize and flip horizontal. Select the logo. Select the eyedropper and choose the color of the plant. I use the eyedropper tool to choose the exact type of color to match the design. Move to the bottom and check the drop shadow effect. Change the value of Y to 10. Select the text tool and add text. Change the font family, font size, font weight, and the font color. I will copy and paste a few words for the paragraph and change the font size from 16 to 30 pixels. Move the paragraph and leave a space or padding of 25 pixels. Hold Shift. Select the paragraph and the title. Click on Align Center horizontally to center the paragraph and the title perfectly. Select the Rectangle tool. Click and drag to draw the rectangle. To curve corners, change the radius to 20. Uncheck the border to remove the border around the rectangle. At fill click the eyedropper and select the pink color of the pant of the character. Select the text tool and click on the rectangle and type sign up. Change the text color to white. Press Ctrl plus Y to open layers. Hold Ctrl and select Rectangle 1 and the Sign Up text. Click on Align Center horizontally to center the text at the middle of the rectangle. Right-click and select Group or use the shortcut key Ctrl plus G. Rename the folder. Duplicate the Sign Up button. Change the color of the rectangle and text. Align the text and rename the folder to login. Hold the control key. Select the character, paragraph, title, and button. Press Ctrl plus G to group.
select the canvas. Drag the rule to the bottom. In this section, I will almost repeat the same steps we did earlier. So please follow me as I proceed. In the user's comments section, draw a rectangle, click on filth, change solid color to linear gradient and change the colors. I am gonna use this avatar from Diribly.com by Cecile L. Parker also I will leave the link in the video description.
Select the text, the rectangle, and the avatar. Group it and rename it. Copy and paste the folder three times. Arrange them in chronological order. Make sure you overflow the first and last comment. Change the avatar and the names. Select all the comments and click on horizontal scroll or press shift plus alt plus h. Select the text, scroll comments, and group them. Now is the time to create a dark mode button. Duplicate the light mode canvas and rename it as dark mode. All we need to do right here is to change the color of the canvas to dark color and the text. So please do follow me as I change things in here.
To make the button switch between the light and the dark mode, select the ellipse on the light mode canvas. Click on Prototype. Wire to the dark mode canvas. Change Ease Out to Ease In Out and the duration to 0.8 seconds. Do the same for the dark mode canvas. Wow! A good job is done. Let's review everything we have done. I hope this tutorial will help you in your XD project. Please like the video, comment, and share with friends. Do check other UI tutorials on this channel. See you soon.